What's going on traders? It's Ricky with TechBot Solutions. So thank you guys again for joining us for another live stream. I'm going to be sharing my screen right now so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. For those that are joining us for the first time, this is the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. I just submitted an order. Whoa. Don't want that. There we go. Sorry about that. Alrighty. But just like we called out yesterday in our Sunday stock talk, we called out the resistance at $2 for CYCC. Um, it looks like it's still showing signs of upward momentum, but during pre-market hours, hit that resistance. It's seen somewhat of a pullback. Most likely it's going to have a support at 190. I tried to see if I can get in at 192. Um, put in a limit order, but we have some sellers at 194. So this order is actually me trying to get filled, but can't get filled at the moment. So I'm I'm not going in with a huge position. It's a little bit over $2,500. And then if it continues to rise, I'd add more to my size. But let's continue moving on uh, and see what ends up going on. So I'm going to put my alert here and click create alert and make it go. If it goes below, 190 then it gives me a better understanding that cycc broke the support and is now seeing signs of downward momentum but the reason that we see potential on cycc is if we go and do a 10-day analysis it had a huge drop from that three dollar support built the support at 171 and ever since it was showing signs of upward momentum after it built that support it flatlined and then on friday it started to rise started to rise and then today hit that two dollar resistance we're waiting for the break from two dollars to that three dollar price point getting a better understanding that we're getting in at a good price so still let me check yep so i've not gotten filled let's see my order oh there's actually someone that's placing an order right above me so looks like it's going to be balancing But we still have a couple minutes. So let me do some technical analysis on some stocks that you guys want me to. Good morning, guys. For the people that are asking what software am I using, I'm using the Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade platform. So again, it's a free platform that you guys can utilize um, by, well, by simply um, opening an account with um, TD Ameritrade. I actually have a video if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, on how you guys can download it. Oops, actually. All right. So as we can see, ZN again hitting that resistance. We're most likely going to experience that pullback during the market open, and we'll follow up with that one. P, this is Pandora. This is one that we called out yesterday in our Sunday stock talk. Not too sure if you guys remember that we called out that I had a resistance at um, $10. So it's playing out just like we planned. Um, it broke that $9 resistance and then it was showing signs of upward momentum during pre-market hours hit that $10 resistance. Um, hopefully we'll see a little bit of a pullback to get closer to that $9 support and then ride it back down. But again, overall, based on the previous trend that I was able to see, oh, let me go a little bit further back so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Um, saw a huge downward trend, balance at $6.76, um, and then it's been climbing back ever since. So uh, it's moving back to this you know, $12 to $14 resistance um, and making its way back again. This is the Pandora um, stock. So. Okay, not something you want to see. DDS. Okay, it's peaking out at 26, so we call that one out um, at 23. And it's peaking out at 26, which is a previous resistance. Um, but if it does break above 26, then to 27, all the way to 30, it has a nice little margin. So this is for DES. Trying to see if I'm getting filled. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some that you guys are asking.
idea was. Our idea was um, after this pump, it looks like it built the support at $2, so it didn't go below $2. Um, it tried to break above 250, but it's experiencing somewhat of a pullback. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go to the stock that I was focusing on. We're at 195, still not filled. One eighty four, one ninety five. Okay. Yeah, it did not get filled. Okay, well, that's not good. All right, so it looked like it hit lows of 192. Um, right now we have still a couple buyers at 193, sellers at 194. Based on the time that I've seen, I haven't been able to see that it actually, oh, there it goes, 192. But there's no sellers there. So, so again, we still have like a nice little gap from 192 to $2, even if it just does this little play again. That's about 4.21%. That'd be a nice little position to be able to lock in let's see if it does it let's see All right. So again, we're waiting for the break above two dollars, so it could go to three dollars. Um, but my position is not getting filled at one ninety two. So okay. So we might break that. Right. I'm going to try to go in with 1,300 um, shares at 193. I now went below 1,398. Still not getting filled. Okay. All right. Um, I'm sorry, guys, that this live stream is so boring. Um, really just waiting for CYCC. I thought it had a lot of potential. Again, I guess I could, sh I should be commentating a little bit more, but based on my previous times, like focusing on other stocks to make it more entertaining on my live stream, um, I end up missing a trade. So that's why I'm trying not to do that. But you guys can see the break, the gap that it has from um, $2 to $3. It's about a 50% potential. Um, we just need to be breaking above that $2 price point. And I think I just got filled. Nope. 
so as you guys can see, um, CYCC, as it was coming up from the bounce of 172, it hit a resistance at 190, had a little bit of a pullback, and then again hit a resistance and then broke above. And then during pre market hours, um, or after market hours and pre market hours, it ended up breaking and hitting highs of 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, no, uh, $2. Um, and then saw pullback and lows of 192. Tried to get, I put my first limit order at 192, couldn't get filled, put it at 193. But now I feel like I'm kind of like chasing it. So there's a wall of sellers. So let me try something different. Oh, what the heck? I got filled. Okay. All right, so now we're in. All right, so let's plan out. Well, let me just um, tell you a little, uh, tell you guys a little bit more about it, uh, about my plan out loud. AMD moving up, okay. All right, well, understanding that I just got filled at 193, um, understanding that the previous support was at 190, I want to keep a tight stop loss. Um, that's about a 1.5% uh, for loss uh, when I got filled at 193, and there's a resistance at $2 to 3.62% for profit. So it's a one and two again, nothing nothing great. Um, we're getting more buyers at 193, so that's good. I'm going to I'm gonna put my stop loss, and I know a lot of guys um, don't like my style of trading because I keep my loss um really tight and i might end up st uh, seeing a stop or getting filled on my stop loss if it breaks below 190 uh, but just understand that it it comes down to like uh, something that i should have done better at, at in this current position is that i didn't get filled at 192 and it's i'm not necessarily waiting for the bounce on this one i'm not too sure if um you guys Usually kind of see what it is that I do, um, but I usually wait for the bounce and then wait for a break in resistance and then I buy in. Um, the reason why is because of the potential that I see that CYCC um, has if it goes above $2. Okay, we're moving up. We're at 194, 195. So I might make it have, I might want to sell. At two dollars, the reason why is because it's not a hundred percent that it's gonna break above two dollars. Therefore, you know, obviously this being a resistance during pre-market hours, it might be a good just uh, to be able to lock in profits, especially if I'm getting in from one eighty three. And again, I'm not taking a huge position size; it's a little bit over um, twenty five hundred dollars. And then I'll show you guys in just a minute um, my trade if it ends up executing. No, okay, got it. Oh. Okay, so, so, and then, so, so, one second, guys. Okay, and it looked like. Oh, yeah, something much. So we have one of our traders within TechBot Solutions, TechBot Solutions asking me about SQ. So give me one quick second, and I'll be more than happy to do a technical analysis on the stock that you're suggesting. Um, I just want to see if this one uh, plays out the way that we're expecting. If not, um, give me about five more minutes and. If it doesn't, then I'll put my stop loss back again and um, remove my limit order at two dollars. No, just gonna pull that. One eighty four.
Yes, okay. So SQ was one that's recommended um, or was advised by one of our members within Tacit Solutions. Um, you saw some potential. I'm going to have to watch this and see what it is that I can find. I just want to make sure that I keep a close eye on SQ. I'm just going to set my alert if we end up going below. So I can put my stop loss. And then also if we break above 195 because obviously it's struggling. So again, just so I can stay up to date. So oh, it looks like we're gonna break below, but we'll see. So Yeah, this definitely is not doing it. Right. Okay, definitely don't like that setup. Okay, well, well, the charts that um, one of our members showed me was a little bit different. You might have had a 20 day analysis. Nope. It has to be a little closer. Is that weird? Okay, uh, what well, looked like it peaked out at 27. Um, Had a previous support at around 26.70. I just don't see the margin for profit being there. It, it is showing a lot of signs of upward momentum. It's about a 1.3% profit for uh, a touch for profit, but again, not not huge overall. I mean, the stock has been showing consistent signs of upward momentum, so that's something that I really really like. Um, so I like that. So I'm gonna add it to my watch list. Thank you for suggesting it. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Stop loss. So. Okay. So. Remove my limit order. I have my stop loss set at the 190. The reason it's at 190 is 190 was the previous resistance, which is the new support. And if it breaks 190, then that means, uh, based on based on what I've been seeing, is CY um, CC since Friday has been showing signs of upward momentum, bouncing from that 172 support um, and hitting the resistance at um, 190. Right, so that made like almost 10% profit on its on its day on friday um but today during pre-market hours I had a little break from 190 to two dollars and i thought that we're going to continue to break above two dollars and, and move on over to three dollars because of that huge gap that it has but it looks like that resistance is a little bit too strong the demand isn't as high as i thought it would be um and again i just want to make sure that i i manage my loss um so i'm in at 193 I, my stop loss is set uh um 190 so if the market price goes below 190 then my position will sell automatically and i'll um, have loss for this position um 1.5 a little bit under 1.5 percent of my trade so again i think huge it, it you know it just comes down to risk management i feel like my potential for profit again from 193 was still greater because of the potential that i had to go to two dollars um what the heck yeah right there. Yeah, so again, nothing huge. It was like three point five percent. It's about twice as much. But um, I, I, I just thought this we had a really good play on this one. I thought I'd, I'd try to catch it early. I'm usually not one to tr uh, to catch much of a. <laughs> oh my goodness, Snapchat keeps falling. Snapchat's at almost breaking. 
14. AMD guys, AMD again is approaching this for, uh, uh, 1450 resistance. Rad, nothing but downward momentum. Snapchat again, nothing but downward momentum. Um, perfect. Uh, Pandora is now seeing a pullback, and this is the pullback that we want to see. Unfortunately, it's not the pullback that we wanted to see, but this makes sense on why it's bouncing um, at at um, 960. 960 was a previous resistance, so if you guys can see right here, so again, previous resistance become new support levels, and it's uh, most likely going to try to bounce around there. I mean, it's already picking back up, so small little margin um, about... Wow, that's still not that small. It's four percent. So, when position gets filled with my stop loss, then we might have a trade with Pandora, which seems a little bit more of a stable um, or less risky position. Guys, is there any stock that you guys would like me to um, analyze? Whoa. Okay. Uh, ELTK. Oh, sorry. Holy moly. Okay, 120. Yeah, this one's definitely halted. <laughs> okay, well, I wouldn't trade this one. It was less than $1. But it looks like it was shown signs of downward momentum. Had a nice little support at about, what is that? 60 cents um, and had a huge break. What's the catalyst? Runs up to $3 minimum order. Okay. Okay. So there's some news on it. I'm not too sure about the credibility of, of again, I know nothing about this stock, so I'm not too sure if it's Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's my play on CYCC. Again, what's a mistake um, or what's the best practice that I could share from today? Um, is I tried to catch it before anyone else could uh, for CYCC. So something that I something that it comes down to like myself trading i usually don't catch like or don't usually trade momentum stocks so i wanted to see if i could catch it before it actually has its huge momentum um pop from two dollars to three dollars so i tried to catch it in when it was seen a pullback something i didn't do like i spoke about before was i didn't wait for the bounce and the break of resistance so again huge mistake in my part um now it's seen a pullback and a much smarter approach that I kind of done or a much more conservative approach is now that it broke below 188 if it breaks above 190 then again because it bounced and then it broke above a resistance so 190 again being old support new resistance um, will give me a better understanding that it's showing sense of out upward momentum but again you learn from your mistakes and there's nothing wrong with that so so Marquis is asking, is the Discord uh, group chat full? No, I'll go ahead and I'll provide um, the link in just a couple minutes. Just let me finish this live stream and then we can head on over. So, okay. So I'm sorry about that, it looks like. So it looks like there's having, I don't know if any of you guys are having issues with Robinhood. If you guys want to let me know, Ryan, um, I would reach out. Um, okay, um, what I'll do for you guys is I'll end the live stream here. I'll post the link uh, or post Robinhood's phone number because their Robinhood trade desk can actually execute their uh, position for you. So I really do crap. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so some some people are saying that no no issues on Robinhood. Um, okay, so a lot. Of, okay, so I'm gonna end the live stream here. It looks like a couple of people within our Tech Hub Solutions group are experiencing issues. Let me see in the main group chat if you guys. Okay, so you guys are seeing issues. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys the number um, and and then kind of go from there. Um, I want to make sure that if you guys can't get out, then at least you guys can call them and, and go from there. So, yeah, my again, a little bit of a um, – starting off the day on a little bit of a red day uh, or a red note. Um, but, again, stick to my plan, and, and that's the most important part. I know that they didn't look in – any any huge profits on this trade but thank you guys again for watching so something again I, I could have done better is i could have waited for the bounce and waited for the break of resistance showing signs of upward momentum to this um two dollar price point but something that i did was i tried to get in right away trying to get in at the lowest point and then i stop lost out and again that's a big mistake should have waited for the bounce and should have waited for signs of upward momentum so i'm going to keep my eyes on um, pandora because of this little margin from um, if it bounces again i'm going to wait for the bounce wait for it to break above 170 and if it does break above 170 then from 170 to ten dollars i have a three percent potential for profit so i'll make up my loss and um a little bit more so uh, let's go from there guys let me get you guys that number and then thank you all those that are Uh, thank you all for all those that are tuning in. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you guys need the Robinhood uh, phone number as well to reach out to them because it's quicker than their technical uh, to, to their uh, compared to their email support, um, feel free to comment down below, and then um, I will post the number in the description. Again, I never post numbers or my email um, in comments or anything like that. Everything has to be in my description. So if you see someone with my cover picture posting something, just click on the profile because I can guarantee you that it's not me. I never give out any personal information nor do i ask for any personal information either um so just note that guys again the facebook group link is provided for you down below so you guys can join um tech Hub solutions we're a little bit over twenty-seven thousand members on the tech Hub solutions facebook platform but with all the different platforms we have available available a little bit over thirty-three thousand members now worldwide so i can't thank you guys again enough for the love and the support continue working hard continue doing what it is that you guys love and like always guys let's make sure that way in the year on a green note take care